Hello everyone. In this video I'm just going to show you a few new things that I've added. Um, most, of, most of what I've added recently has just been like uh, bug fixes, but I've um, added a few extra little things in here and there that you might find useful. The first one is uh, you can now horizontal, it would do horizontal mining. Uh, you can see a couple of holes of what well, tunnels I've dug so far. Um, so I'll just demonstrate how you do that because um, it's it can be quite useful to dig in that direction rather than straight down um, the swall will do so it works similar to the regular mining only it's actually easier because you only need one marker um, so all you do is f find a nice wall and place a, a single marker down uh, like with a lot of things the marker always shows the uh, the front left of whatever it is you want to do so in this case this will be the front left of the tunnel and then directly behind it if you place a mining block down and you have to do it in that order you have to place the marker down first and then the mining box and then of course you'll need one or two chests to put all the stuff in um, now if you right click that you get this new bit down at the bottom um, you won't see this if you've got three markers down and you're doing a regular mine but uh, for a horizontal one you get this this is the the size of the kind of the hole in the wall um, so it'll be three by three and then as deep as you want really um, so I believe these are the same I'll leave it on three the default just to show you how it works and all you do is hire a miner stand back And there you go. Of course you can hire several miners um, if you want to dig the hole really quickly. Um, anything to do with well, gravel and stuff like that, that's, uh, that's taken care of easily. You can see the, the market's no longer needed either as well, so you can get rid of that. Um, you just need the mining box and the, and the chest and everything should be going into it. We've got uh, cobblestone, gravel and some flint so far. So again you can uh, get a bit of lag here. Again you can change what blocks you keep. Uh, the cover with glass doesn't do anything on horizontal mining because it's like pointless anyway. Um, one other thing you can do is actually if I just uh, just grab some light a minute just so you can see inside one other thing, oh yeah <laughs> so mine's the, the actual light itself a little bit behind. there you go getting a bit of lag here for some reason um, yeah, you can change the size as she goes as well. So if I change that to 5, she'll start from the beginning and this time you'll get a 5 by 5 And just quickly show you uh, let's try hire several miners just so you can see how quick So um, normally the, the miners will stop if they reach bedrock, but um, unless you're digging really deep, you probably will never reach bedrock uh, going horizontally. Um, so they will dig forever right off the edge of the map if, if they can. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to happen as soon as they reach sort of the, the edge of the world, because uh, there is a, an edge 
to it if you haven't explored it yet. But we'll see anyway. So another thing that's been added recently is the ability to uh, actually beam the player um, anywhere in the world. So how you set it up is that you just place down a single marker and uh, just a single chest somewhere around the area That's so it can be used as a courier point as well and then go back to the marker and right click it and then if you give it a suitable name like my big mine and I set the new courier point and beaming point you see it's been set there you can get rid of the marker then but you must keep the chest there because it can be used as a courier point so that they need a chest to drop off things and pick things up again so you can then go to uh, any control box in the world right click it and you'll see this beam me to button and uh, these are all the various places I've already set up uh, while I was testing it and things you can see the new one there my big mine just click on that and it beams us just across the road there there you go and it, there's no limit on the the distance that you can place these um, I'll just give you an extreme example go back to this it works with any of these control boxes whether it's in a house or um, any kind of building really so if I beam me to I've got this one end of the line a little bit laggy that one but I uh, got there in the end we're now eight kilometers away um, it's mostly just ocean out here but yeah, there's no distance. You, you can't travel with it as long as this, uh, as long as you, you put a marker down. That's not into me. I'll just temporarily put a um, control box down here so I can be back to places. Uh, let's go to the right house. So that's it for this video, hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. I might do a Let's Play video, I'm not sure yet, I'll, I might have a go at that. Um, so uh, keep an eye on this YouTube channel.